So when we look at the euro, it's important to remember that the market had a significant breakdown from the 121 area all the way down to 115 in a matter of a very short period before seeing this latest bounce. And so the market should be looking like it wants to bounce after an aggressive move to the downside and into some critical support. Remember, this area in here is the previous breakout zone from 2017, a previous resistance now turned support. So at a minimum, it looks like there could easily be a run back towards this area right here, which coincides with some internal resistance in the form of September 2017 high, right around the 121 area. And that's where we could be headed before considering the next moves.